It will. You don't hear me interrupting your class, do you? Hold on a little bit. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Forget that last line you just heard. That's another story. <laughs> 45, 46 degrees. Let's get it started. It will warm up, though. I know that. All right, Jamie. You don't know that. It's cold weather that. right now. It is so cold. This morning, my esteemed insurance man wore a heavy jacket in here. I thought he was riding his bike, but no. <laughs> Mr. Cold. David Turner, Country Financial. Seth brought his new uh, workout bag in here this morning. We'll have it. And Freddie? Love loud, bud, my friend. Man, it was one for the ages. I appreciate it, <laughs> Jamie. Boy, ages. y'all did a great ain't, job. Y'all ain't even seen the video. I want to thank everybody down at Bertie Thornton Center. We're going to probably do that every year. We had such a great time. Then we'll give a shout-out to Henry White, too, for helping us down that way. We'll have all that video. We'll run on Fridays. We run Classic Cooper now. And over on set two this morning, got the entire Green family from Iceland's Chapel this morning. I We're going to play a basketball all. game in a minute. We're going to take them all on. <laughs> And Seth, uh, Seth's got you ready up. We're going to give you a massage today, Zach. I wish I didn't have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can got the best-looking masseuse ever in the city of Athens. Now we're sitting right over yeah, here. We're talking her just a little bit, too. Well-spoken, too, I might add. Absolutely. Hey, don't get this portion of show sponsored by Hometown Market. You can still get Vienna sausages, two for a dollar down that way. We'll be giving away. David, you still got all yours? Yeah, I sure do. That was good for a couple more years, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the specials come out just in a moment. Lori will have them for you. Let's get this party cranking. It's going to be a little chilly if we pick cotton this weekend, ain't it, Oh, my goodness, it is. It's 45 degrees out there this morning. You know, I, I always wonder how that happens. It's 45 degrees now, and we'll see 80 degrees by this afternoon. That's a big jump, a really big jump. Must be all that beautiful sunshine because, you know what, we have 0% chance of rain today. High temperatures, 79, maybe even 80 degrees tomorrow. Look at that low 54. Not quite as bad as this morning, but your high temperature around 80. And this is pretty much what your rest of the week is going to look like. And into the weekend, look at that Saturday as we're picking cotton at the Hobbs Farm. 67 and 42, 41 for that low. And just a beautiful seven days, no rain, no fog to worry about this morning on your way into work. And we have a very, very, very special birthday. We've got to get out. Oh, uh, uh, little Molly Clem right there. The yeah. only woman working at 105 oh. years old. Oh, oh my God. Out of herbs and more each and every day. <laughs> well, she's rocking. She's still out working. Work. 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 <laughs> Say us, Grandma. Golly, how is he in that picture, Maddie's age? Oh, this, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, say the picture again. She was the secretary at Piney Chapel when this photo was taken. What a hearty. Earphones. Got her headset on. She looks like she looks like Gwen in that picture. Yeah. yeah. Molly, what a go. Of course, that was in 1922. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Molly, I'll oh. knock him upside his head. Yeah. Oh. Seriously, going to smack you when you... Oh, yeah. Y'all got, y'all have got, uh, you know, uh, wild, wild Wings is coming down there, too. Really? Yeah, they are officially, Jimmy Gill. And yes! Gill, they, they are coming to that. going to happen? Oh, that. Wings. Right there in y'all's neighborhood. Oh. They're coming on that end over there by Walmart. Yeah, you know, yeah, see, when you were right, he doesn't do anything but... Yeah, I have fun on this, right? <laughs> yeah, he does. And David, how's insurance business? It's going really good. So far, so good. Country Financial, you probably up the top man now since you're on television. So <laughs> I don't know about that, but that's been good. Uh, roll Tide. Yeah, we'll roll Tide. Just Freeze a moment here. Freddie? Oh, yeah. We're going to have some of that love laugh. So you're up here today talking about upward basketball. How many kids participate in it? We'll ask you that again later. But. Uh, well, between our two churches, well, we partner with Iceland's Chapel United Methodist, and we probably have 250 to 300 yeah. participants each year. Oh, all the uh, uh, girls and boys, right? Yeah. Basketball and cheerleading. What's that's great. Uh, the girls basketball and cheerleading from kindergarten to eighth grade. The boys play basketball from kindergarten to eleventh grade. I remember when they started girls basketball at New Hope. By the way, if y'all old enough to remember this, we used to get out of school this time year to pick cotton. No, I did. No, no. Started high school. <laughs> Grandma started five years old in 1959. But when the girls played, they played six on team. Three on offense, three on defense. Y'all y'all remember that, do you? They only could come to half court, then they had to turn it over to the other team. You talking about how old my law is? What are you talking about? Yeah, really, I, I don't remember Ooh. any of that. Somebody in my age group. Zach, what's happening in sports? Hey, first off, I got a couple things I need to mention. I don't know which ones Brad has first, but everybody knows I mention my Aunt Edna a lot with yard sales with my 
mama. But uh, they're having a benefit for my cousin, Jeremy Garrett, for medical expenses. He's having a lot of health issues right now. He's trying to get his disability. So there's going to be a benefit chicken stew and bake sale Saturday at the Limestone no Chefs Arena on the east side. No goat that I know of. They're going to have a benefit yard sale later, but it's $20 a gallon. So that'll be this Saturday. And also, my sisters, are gonna, you know, this month is... Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and they're having a fundraiser for the mammogram department at Parkway Hospital in Decatur, and that's going to be the 15th and the 16th, and uh, my sisters are going to be there selling a lot of things they've sold at the Fillers Convention, so anybody can go out there uh, in Decatur, the 15th and 16th, that'll be tomorrow and Friday. Uh, congratulations, East Limestone Volleyball Team, which uh, Coach P's daughter Shaley is on it. They won the county championship last weekend so congratulations to them uh duke williams has come out on an instagram post and apologized to the auburn family Ooh. so he is sorry for what he did and and he wishes them all well brad so they of course they play tomorrow night against kentucky a rare thursday night game all those big big uh, power teams all those big power teams play on thursday night yeah <laughs> I just, had, I just had to say that, Brad. I'm sorry, Brad. I'm sorry. Okay, East and West Limestone control their own playoff destiny this weekend. East Limestone plays West Point, and West Limestone travels to Central. So they, there's a lot of teams that were eliminated. Uh, second round, Tanner is guaranteed a playoff spot. They're eight no, they're in. And uh, Sweet Home Chicago, the curse. Well, part of the curse is over for the Chicago Cubs. Okay. Last night, they beat St. Louis Cardinals. So they, they advanced to the NLDS championship. Dodgers, they won last night, so they will play a game five. Is that it for sport? Well, and Alabama plays Texas A&M 2.30 Saturday. And y'all so had a big thing last night. We had a thing Greenbrier last night. Uh, I wish a lot of Alabama fans could have got there and heard Byron Holbrooks. He's... Former defensive lineman, a lot of people remember him making a big sack against Stan White in Iron Bowl several years ago. He's had a lot of things happening in his life, and he told us a lot of good stuff, you know, what's going on good in his life now. And December, we're going to have Kerry Good there. Oh. And everybody knows Kerry Good's battling in ALS, so we're going to try to have a benefit, kind of a benefit to raise some money for Kerry in December. Hey. And, may, and possibly Gary Hollingsworth in November. No electronic devices will be able to be used during the Jamie and we will have an automatic uh, disqualification. Not you, Freddie. Say it. One more thing, Jamie. Saturday on WKC from 10 to 11, we have Applebee's tailgate talk, and we'll have Kerry Good live on the radio. Oh, okay. So everybody try to listen on WKC. If I, if I come up, are they feeding me too? Yeah, come on up. Bring your camera. Come on. I ain't bringing a camera, man. Why can't I go nowhere these days without a camera? Hey, we'll put you on. To come in, huh? We'll put you on. We'll, we'll put you on without hey, a camera. Hey, you reckon you can help me out? She can. I've been carrying a camera for four. 40 years. A little like the hunchback in Notre Dame now trying to walk somewhere. Huh? Uh, let me take a break. We'll come back and play Judge Jamie. Y'all ready? I hope so. Up we'll on see. This morning? I didn't have a lot of time this yeah, morning. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm always excused. Try to get that coat on, probably. We'll take a break. Y'all hang on. Actually, I was...